Gorgon Samey, thank you for becoming a patron. You are what keeps the dream alive. What's up everybody, Durag back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. So with this video, I want to fully cover Void Interactive's media pages, and we are going to be starting with their official website first, particularly the key features, because I don't believe I've actually covered this. We will also go over the many videos that coincide with these paragraphs. So the first one says, Realism first. Void Interactive has consulted with police teams globally in order to create rules of engagement and a scoring system that are both challenging and realistic. In order to push the bar further with realism. Ready or not models, ballistic penetration, ricochets, Kevlar and plate dynamics, as well as projectile animation and momentum. Taking a closer look at the video that's just above the text here, it is of a SWAT officer that is using a Glock to shoot at a suspect, and I believe that Glock actually has a optic on it. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, if anybody wants to comment down in the comment section, tell me what that is. But I believe this area is the hotel, the Wendley Hotel. W Wendley? Wendley? This next part, I believe, is from the trailer where he lobs in the flashbang and he's walking up on him and then there's this part where he's in the shipping yard area and he's wearing night vision goggles and shooting at him with a shotgun and he's killing him so I guess there must have been a battle before then and then we switch over to what I believe is the gas station because he's uh, in the one storage area it looks like and he's cuffing this person and then we switch back over to the hotel area except this guy's holding an M16 I believe with a red dot sight or a micro T1 I think it is and then it switches back over to the shipping shipping yard again with I believe the same weapon I believe and then it shows a different part of the shipping yard where he's holding a taser and he tases the guy but it doesn't look like he wants to drop the gun that easily and that's basically it 29 seconds all right moving on robust and natural controls explore a deep and involved weapon handling and player maneuvering system geared towards providing officers with an unprecedented level of control over their situational effectiveness Raider Knight utilizes a simple and organic control scheme which won't have have players fumbling around, forgetting dozens of keybinds. The scene above it, I believe, starts out with gameplay of the single player because he's using the command menu at the very beginning there. He's also holding what I believe is the, I want to say, grenade launcher, and they're in the shipping yard pushing in, taking down a suspect. And then it cuts to the gas station and then showing off the radial menu. And I believe this scene is also from the trailer, but it's a more extended version of it where he lobs in the stinger and it has two explosions. One, I guess, to set it off and the other one to have the balls fling out. And the guy that's on the other side of the vending machine puts his hands up and he gives up. And then the next one is of a guy, he basically leans out and he aims at a target and then he shoots in the training room. So yeah. Planning system. Organize an approach and strategize through the floor plans and mission briefings. Then execute the mission in real time. Officers can decide to deploy with items such as ballistic shields or door rams, tactical ladders, and much more. SWAT units can also choose to enlist personnel to assist with the situation, including sniper teams and negotiators. The next image is of a guy that's at the front of the Wendelee Hotel walking up to the door so you can knock on it. And then it cuts over to the training room where a guy is holding up a shield and he is just walking towards a target while I believe he's about to shoot. He pulls up the shield as he shoots. The next scene is of a guy that is in a alleyway where I believe the gas station is. He has a ladder. At the end of the clip, he's about to put it up, but just before he does, we actually get to see what's on the other side of where this gated area is. You know, at first I had thought that this was actually a fence, but no, it's actually just a door that's right there. So can we go through that door? And if there's a ladder, this means that we could also get up on the roof. Is there multiple entries? Seems pretty interesting. And then the next scene, I believe, is also from the trailer. It's just a sniper shot of these guys moving up to the Wendelee Hotel. And then the next one is of a guy holding a tablet while using a drone. Command your team. Team leaders will command a smartly designed team of officers in single player with either an on-screen command interface with a robust and finely tuned speech recognition system. This speech recognition system can also be used to yell for compliance at suspects and civilians. The clip that's above is a guy that's in the shipping yard area and he's lobbing a nine bang. But as he's doing it, there's a guy that's pushing up on him and he pulls out his shotgun and he wastes him. Turns around and I guess he uses his free look to look at a SWAT officer that's just sitting there. Probably like, bro, why weren't you shooting? Or why didn't you help me? Then it cuts over to the gas station and in the middle of the floor, they're actually cuffing this lady. And I believe the person that's actually looking at him is holding a shield with a Glock. And then it cuts over to, I believe, the anal 
Casino Staircase map, whichever map that is. And I believe he's actually in the single player mode because he orders a guy to run over and toss in CS gas. But before the guy can try and do it, a criminal rises up from his right side and starts shooting at one of his friendlies. So he guns him down, but he doesn't fully kill him because I guess the CS gas is actually starting to work on him. So they give up and do that really bad animation where he's pointing the gun at you as he's putting his gun down, which I hope they fix that. Like, just literally drop it, please. Diverse modes. Bring order to chaos online with friends. Through a tactical cooperative experience, lead a crack team of AI-driven swap members in a solo story-rich campaign, or battle a rogue organization in a fierce and competitive multiplayer environment. The clip above in the beginning shows the multiplayer and a SWAT officer duking it out with the paramilitary units. This is basically ripped straight from the trailer, it seems. But then it cuts to another scene where you can see the command menu open up. This leads me to believe that this is the single player because these guys move up on his left just like they're in an AI formation. Also, there's another thing to note. These guys are wearing the HRT uniform. So I'm guessing that you can actually wear the HRT uniform in single player, which I uh, think is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And then it switches back over to the gas station where they're running into the storage room, except I think it's more of a extended part right here where they're actually just walking in and it's not cut. This is also from the trailer, by the way, but, but it's an uncut version. And then he pulls up a radio menu because he's about to throw in a flashbang, it seems. And that pretty much does it for that one. Let's push on. Intelligent customization. With access to over 60 unique items, players are given the tools to tackle any situation. The right combination of weapon optics, muzzle modifications, magazine types, and foregrip variations gives an officer the edge in combat. Alternatively, load up with plates and heavy armor to prevent a quick end. At the expense of agility, officers can also personalize their unit with team-specific patches and uniforms. This next video is basically of an MP5 with the hollow sight that, and it's spinning, and then it switches to a G36, I believe that is, with a micro T1 on, I believe. And then it switches to an M4 with a hollow sight and a laser sight on top, I think that is. All guns are basically spinning, though. And then it switches to the front of the Wendelie Hotel, and there is a guy who pulls out his mag to check to see how much ammo he has, which is indicated by the little mag at the bottom left right there. And then he puts it back into his MP5, and then the same guy does the same thing behind him. I'm guessing they did a command to, like, check the mags or something like that. But yeah, he does the same thing. And then it shows, like, a menu of what they have on. It looks like you're able to put on night vision goggles, heavy carrier, which I'm not sure what a heavy carrier actually does. Like, it, does it just give you more armor, or does it allow you to carry more things? I mean, uh, carrier, right? Then it switches to the next guy, and it says glasses. So we have the option to switch between glasses and night vision. And below that, it says light carrier. I'm guessing it gives you the option to, like, carry less stuff, obviously, than the next guy. And yeah, it basically ends with that. So that's actually pretty interesting. We get some kind of uh, character customization. I'm trying to figure out what it says up there. Unf uniform tactician? Uniform tactical? I could barely read what that says at the top right right there. But anyways, one thing that I neglected to see on the page was the picture section. There's a bunch of pictures that we've already seen, but then there's a bunch of pictures that we haven't seen, so I'm just gonna pull those ones up. I think this one might have been in the trailer, but I don't remember, so I'm just gonna cover it just to make sure. But yeah, basically what's happening is that a guy is holding a M16 or 14. So it's a picture of a guy holding an M4 with a silencer on. And it looks like he's firing at a sign because, again, this is a guy that isn't actually aiming down sights like I would like him to be. But um, there's a suspect that I believe is firing back at him, just judging by the red that's along the corners and on the side. I think the redness indicates that he got hit and his vision is a little blurry. So that might be what's going on here. This is also the gas station. The next picture that I'm going to be covering is the one where these two SWAT officers seem to be pushing in from one side of the gas station. The SWAT officer on the right is holding up a shotgun. I believe that is his primary. And the other guy on the left is holding up a shield with a Glock. If we notice that the shell casing for one of the shotgun shells is flinging out, it's actually green. I wonder what, uh, what bullet type that could be. The next one is of the shipping yard again, except we can actually see one of the guys holding up an M14, which I think is an interesting weapon to bring at least from a SWAT perspective. Now listen, I, I'm not a SWAT expert, so maybe they do bring M14s, 
There's nothing too significant about this as far as I can tell. We see another upshot from the back end of the gas station. Except we can see the guy is actually using an OptiWan on the door to check to see what's on the other side. Always be cautious when you push it to an area, ladies and gentlemen. This next scene is actually pretty interesting. This is actually like a really good thumbnail that I would like to have, but unfortunately I can't actually download these pictures. Or maybe I can, but I'm just an idiot, so. But anyways, it's a picture of a guy holding up a scar. He's wearing night vision goggles and he has a bunch of people stacking up on this one gate so that they can push in. Although I'm guessing that they're waiting for somebody to turn out the lights because it looks really bright. I don't think I want to run in there with night vision goggles on and all the lights are on. That would hurt my eyes. I'm blinded. The next scene is of a bunch of SWAT officers stacking up on the entrance to the Wendley Hills Hotel. This is actually a picture that gave us the biggest indicator of what the name of this map is. The Wendley Hills Hotel. Parking around the side, do not park here. That seems like a weird way to word that, but whatever. But then again, I'm not getting the context of what's actually going on here, so... I mean, I would have to get into the map to see what the sign is actually indicating. But anyways, let's move on. This next one, we've already seen this area. It's the storage area that's just behind the gas station. But but this time around, there's actually a hostage in here. This indicates to us that there's going to be multiple spawning locations for civilians and enemies. Because this civilian was not here during the gameplay trailer. So that's interesting. Let's move on. The next one, we get to see a close-up of an actual bad guy. And what I believe is the gas station still. Just judging by the color and the lighting. I've actually seen this character model over on their Facebook. And yeah, it's still there, actually. But let's move on. Actually, what gun is that? It looks like a fucking GTA gun. Yeah, it's a Tech 9, isn't it? Or what are we? call it but yeah this guy is holding a tech 9 it reminds me a lot of gta which i wonder if that's what they were going for but yeah anyways let's move on the next picture we get a close-up of a guy wearing a beanie and we're actually standing behind him in this picture because if you look off to the right you can see shadows you can see shadows of the guy that we're standing behind and also the shadow of us just barely there you can see kind of like the shoulder going off to the right so i'm guessing we're about to cuff this guy this next one ouch Man, he got shot in the freaking shoulder, I guess. But it looked like he got hurt. This guy's not wearing any armor. He's just wearing regular clothes. But yeah, this is in the Wenderly Hills Hotel with a Latino looking character. It's very interesting to hear what type of backstory all these guys are going to have. All right, let's push on. Now, we've already seen this area in the trailer, but I'm not sure we've actually seen a shotgun with a hollow sight on. So I'm just going to include this because I thought that it was interesting. This next picture is of the guy that was like buggy throughout the entire trailer and he has a big hole going through his back right there. I wonder if that's what the response was. Oh, you're buggy. I'm gonna have to take you out. But again, this is also the Wenderly Hills Hotel. And I believe this is also the front lobby of the Wenderly Hills Hotel. So the SWAT officers are actually coming in from a different location. So then the next picture is of the SWAT officers coming in from the front of the Wenderly Hills Hotel. But we're looking at it from a different angle. So obviously they're using the replay viewer in this instance. We can actually see the backside of what's behind the officers here. And it's another building called called the Rebel Kino, maybe? That's an interesting looking building in the background. And that is basically all that we have in terms of pictures that are on the website. One last thing before we move on. For those of you that don't know, the official website for Void Interactive actually had developer blogs on them. But after the new update that brought all the pre-order stuff in, they completely got rid of them. Now this may not seem like a big deal to most people, but a lot of people actually like those developer blogs, me myself included. I look at it as like a record in time. And with it gone, it just feels like a piece of history just got erased. So quite a bit of people were actually asking the developers if they could, you know, put it back on there. And the developers told us that if they decided to actually put it back on there, that they would have to put a bunch of disclaimers because some of the stuff that's in the dev blogs are factually incorrect of the final product. So I kind of hope that they bring those back because I did enjoy reading those. So the next website that we're going to be looking at is Void Interactive's Instagram. They actually dropped a statement on here and I didn't actually see it until now. So I guess I'll just go ahead and read it off and then we'll talk about it afterwards. <clears throat> Void Interactive would like to thank you for all the overwhelming amount of support and communication since the launch of the gameplay trailer. As a team, we feel proud of how far we've come in just a year and since the reveal for a small team. We do also appreciate the feedback we've been getting as well across all lines of contact. We understand specific concerns at this time and are looking to address them to make sure you guys are happy with how things are going and make your purchases worthwhile. Oh, so I guess this was referring to the time that the 120 price mark actually seemed kind of unreasonable. Now it's definitely better, but I don't know, it's still 120 bucks. But anyways, Void will attempt to keep you updated as much as possible throughout the process of our development, and we are working out ways to consolidate our information further to keep you informed. This includes adding more to our website. Yeah, so Void Interactive has a very big problem with not 
actually telling people what's going on at least not on their official websites like normally if you go over to their reddit and dig through a bunch of comments and stuff you can find it but if you look on their youtube it almost seemed like you know the game was dead so it was very hard to find information unless you actually had a shovel and people supporting you hopefully you've enjoyed what we've shown so far and while content won't be as rapid as it has been in the past week on social media we are still going to be showing off as much as we can and not be silent anymore when we have any sort of news or something cool to show off you'll be the first ones to know about it with ready or not being our first title we're going to make sure we get it right and deliver the best tactical game possible for you to enjoy we would like to thank everyone for the pre-order so far as every part helps the game a tremendous amount now that our passionate community has made an investment with us we have an investment ourselves with making sure the game gets done to the standard we've set up to now ready or not is definitely an ambitious game with big shoes to fill and so is the responsibility of communicating it to excited and passionate people across the globe these past few days have been an exhilarating experience and the development has become a journey of getting better and growing as a team thank you for all your patience and understanding and also your patronage 2020 might seem far but it'll come quickly whether you're ready or something void interactive so this was an interesting statement that i actually missed so i thought that i would just read it now because i'm not sure it really means anything now but it did in the past if that makes any sense but anyway let's move on so the next one is an assortment of pictures that starts up in the wenderley hotel we got one that is on the right side which i'm not sure if this was actually shown i'm just going to show them off really quick this is a picture i'm guessing that's before i think he's like walking over to the side uh as they're about to set up on the door yeah and this is like further into the hotel uh i'm guessing guessing it's like going into that one hallway um a lot of people were actually commenting on this little piece that's like right here it looks like his arm is like going into the wall or something like that and yeah it does kind of look like that like i don't know what's going on with that or or it actually looks like somebody just took a bite out of his freaking backside right there it's really interesting that that kind of happened or that void even showed it off it's kind of like huh but anyways the last one is of them pushing into that one area i'm not sure what this area actually is supposed to be but yeah we can see a dead suspect right here on the floor we got everybody ready getting to push in right there so yeah overall just some cool pictures of the same area um i'm not sure if it's the same playthrough i can't really tell from these so out of all the pictures that are here the only one that seems to actually have a hud on is the very first picture so i'm wondering if this means that there's a cooldown when it comes to actually using the hud like does the hud come on and then it turns off after a certain amount of time or did this guy actually go into settings and flip off his hud because the rest of it doesn't show the hud i think it's the same person because the shotgun with the sh same shell but yeah, I find that very interesting. Let's push on. They have a video of night vision, but I'm just going to mention it here, but we've already seen it in the trailer. So yeah, nothing too special. This next one right here, I don't recall if this one was actually in the trailer or not. So I'm just going to include it here, but this one's called because it's all better in slow-mo. All right, moving on. Then there's this picture. I have a 4k version of this picture and it, it's very nice. Like it has some coordinates at the bottom left of the right shield right here. So we're, tr we're still trying to figure out what that means. And this one was dropped fairly recently it's of a guy that's actually bleeding out um he was shot in what looks like the neck or the shoulder i can't tell but man he is really bleeding out he falls to the ground yeah he he just really bleeds out right there and then the next one i also have a picture of this and i believe i showed it off in a previous video but yeah it's of a guy that's actually holding a, a downed officer which is actually pretty interesting like i got i don't know if this is actually going to be in game or if this was just used for like cinematic purposes but if it is in game then that's actually pretty Pretty interesting to see how this would happen and then they put up a picture saying that they got 10k i wonder who actually made this picture uh i, I think i actually know who did it but i don't i don't know for sure it might say here let's see uh it doesn't look like it says who made the picture unless there might be a watermark on here i'm not seeing hmm maybe the devs made it i don't know but it's an interesting little picture and then the next picture shows off a radio menu and you can see as he switches over to the opti one which is at the very bottom because it's behind his back he pulls it out out and he flings out the little thing so that the camera could switch around but i should probably mention that um he actually had a pistol out before that you know i want to call this a crack house but i don't know i <laughs> I'm still unsure of what this area is. But yeah, he pulls out the opti wand and he just looks around the corner. Um, this was also a scene that was in the trailer itself. But um, yeah, that's pretty much everything on the Instagram page. A lot of these pictures were also on Void Interactive's other pages. So if there's nothing else, then I might just end the video right here. Because I'm not sure if there's anything different on any other page as far as I can tell. And I looked over at their Facebook and there really wasn't that much that was actually different either. 
there. On their Reddit, they had a lot of memes. There hasn't been too much substantive when it comes to Reddit. It's mostly been about memes and just random things that happen. You know, like, oh, you got 200, you got 2 million on a video. Yay. Nothing too substantive, but if anything happens, then I'll add it to the next video. So, yeah. The last thing that I want to say is that the Ready or Not Community podcast has been canceled because the person that was actually running it and organizing it had actually left and nobody wanted to step up to uh, organize it. I mean, I thought about it, but I was just like, eh. It was supposed to be like a community sort of thing, so everybody was supposed to get involved, but I felt like I was the only one that was like really editing the videos and I really didn't want to focus on that. Like, I really didn't mind editing maybe like one or two videos, but I ended up editing all of them and I just didn't want to have to deal with it. But the podcast was a neat idea, so I kind of thought about, you know, organizing it myself, but I don't know. So yeah, more Ready or Not content to come out soon. There's still a lot more that I need to cover, but for now I thought I'd just get you guys up to date with all the things that have been coming out. So I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.